and now I've got two tools in my scene. So let's take this opportunity to talk a little bit about saving a tool versus saving a project versus a quick save. So I have two tools and right now I have my human, uh, the Nick Z human selected. If I tap this, uh, the skull we were working on, I'm going to tap that and that's going to select that tool and it's really big compared to the human uh, scale so I got to, you know, kind of zoom out here. And you can tap in back and forth between those. Um, so here's the human, here's the skull, human skull, human skull. If you were out of edit mode and hit control N and you select the skull, you'd still have to drag it out to go into edit mode. Uh, same thing with the, um, if you go out of edit mode and then tap the human, you still have to drag him out and then go into edit mode. And now you've got, oh, I've got a skull in there. It's on my document. All that is is just you need to clear your document. That's again, just control N. Now I'll get rid of that. So you can kind of switch back and forth between these two tools. Now, if I go to Tool, Save As, it's only going to save the selected tool. It's not going to save the skull. It's only going to save this thing. So just keep that in mind. Um, if I go to File, Save As, that'll save a Z project, and that'll save everything you see here, plus all the tools that are in your um, docking menu over here. Now, like you can use that to your advantage if you have a bunch of tools around that you want to use, uh, but it can also lead to very large file sizes. If you have a bunch of garbage tools hanging out over here, it's going to save them. So there's two ways to clean that up. Number one is if you just want to save this tool, just grab that tool, do tool save as, it'll save it as a Z tool. To bring that back in later, you're just going to go to load tool. If you go to file save as, it's going to save everything you see here, plus all these garbage tools. If you don't want to save some of this stuff, just select it. And then go down here to your subtool and hit delete. And it'll say, are you sure you want to delete this? Once you've done this, you can undo it. Hit OK, and that'll go ahead and delete it. I'm just going to cancel that. As well as if you do a quick save, let's go ahead and do a quick save, and then I bring up my menu by holding comma, by hitting comma and going to quick save options. You can see right here, if I double click this one to load up that last quick save, just hit no. That'll load up that quick save, which was a Z project. Everything's back, even this thing. So you can kind of clean up this area in here with all your garbage tools just by hitting delete, and that'll get rid of them. Or, and then you can do quick save, you can do file save as, save as Z project. Or if you just want to save your scroll you're working on, Z tools, save as, scroll start. And then if we uh, have a brand new ZBrush open, preferences, initialize ZBrush. Yes, initialize ZBrush. Load tool. Double click that, Z, that uh, skull start, drag them out, go into edit mode, and you're ready to go. And of course, we'll change it to a matte cap gray. So now that we're comfortable, I'm going to go ahead and close out this draw menu and put my brush menu back there.